Components are the core concept of web programming these days. So if you want to learn any framework or library like React.js, Angular or Vue, these all are based on component. As a result, understanding the functionality of component has become essential. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Nisha Singla and in today's session, we are going to talk about one of the important and core concept of React and that is component. But before starting with today's session, please make sure that you have visited my previous videos where I have talked about like how virtual DOM works in React and how you can set up your React project using create React app tool. I have provided the link of all those videos in the description. So please check out those videos before starting with today's session. So now let's first understand like what is component and how it has changed the way web development has done these days. So now let's first check what React.js official website says about component. So it says that components let you split the UI into independent reusable pieces and think about each piece in isolation. And that is component, right? Let me explain you with one example. Whenever we need to create any page before the concept of component, ideally we create like that. Okay, we have everything in one file. Whenever you write any code, dry approach is the first approach that should come in your mind as a developer. That is, don't repeat yourself. You should write your code in such a way that it enables the reusability. But when we talk about designing or creating a web page without component, we don't think about that much. We idly create the header, sidebar and some content in a file straight away. There are lots of drawback of that approach we are going to discuss in, in some time. But this is the one way through which you can design your web page. But now the same page when I talk about to create with the help of component how the design will change. Now instead of writing everything in one file, what we will do? We will split the UI into small small chunks. So here you can say if you want to create a search feature. So you will create a separate component that will only focus on the search functionality. In the same way, if you have logo, there could be a logo component. We have sidebar and further list can have a list component. And same way we can have this uh, content you can say here. So it could be a separate component. And every component at the end will merge together into one parent component that is called root component. So this way what we do, we split our complete UI into small chunks with the help of components. So now we can say like react.js is component driven. Everything in react is a component. So everything in react is a component which is responsible for some functionality like search functionality, logo functionality, menus, sidebar, main content, footer. So every component dedicatedly work for some specific functionality. And then we combine them together to form a big component. So this makes the code more readable and understandable. So you can think of some advantages of using component approach. The first one is very clear is reusability. A component is made once and can be reused across different pages and app or framework. So if for an example, like if I have created this search component once and maybe in future I need search component anywhere in the particular article or some on some another page, there you can just plug that component and you will done. You don't need to write that code again. So reusability is the main reason of using components. And when you have divided your uh, individual functionality into component, then it becomes more easy to maintain. And it, it is also easy to test. So components are more testable and maintainable as compared to when you design your page without any component. Encapsulation is one of the advantage of using component. So every component will have its own feature in terms of its logic, its UI, its designing. So everything is going to encapsulate in particular component. So now we understood like how component really help us. So in React, everything is a component. So if you open your editor, so in the last demo, we have created this app.js file, right? So this is also a component. If you see the index.js file, my complete application will be driven by this app component. So here this app component will act like a root component for me. Now whatever UI you want to put inside this app component can be split into further different kind of small components that can be combined together to make a complete app component. So let's first create a simple HTML page and I will show you how you can split that into different different chunks using component. So when you go to Google and search for React.js, you get something like this. 
right we have this heading and we have further heading of particular topic like this now if i if i tell you to create this one as a demo okay how you will do let me show you move to editor and as of now we can get rid of this html whatever we have created in the last session and just keep empty component okay we have nothing inside this component just make sure that it, it will not break anything on ui so it's just an empty page right now if i want to create this kind of structure what you will do you will create any uh, container maybe div tag there you will have maybe this h1 and some span or paragraph tag to hold this data right so let me quickly create that so first we will be having this href so you just need to copy this one I'm creating this one as a simple HTML first of all so that you understand how you need to break your code into a component approach and I can put this address here and in the p tag I can just write this text I will not do lots of HTML and CSS it's just to show you some basic stuff how you can write that when you save that you go here you will able to see that okay and similar way you will be having this one as well but if you try to understand ideally it will be the same way i will be having one div it will have one link only its text will change to this one and its link will change to this one and maybe its content i can change this one and the same rule will go for the last div. So I can quickly do that. So we are done, right? When you save the changes and go back, you will notice something like that. You can click on any link. It will take you to that particular link. Fine. So this way, this is the first approach that you can design your web page. But here, try to understand like why we need component. So now let's understand this code. As of now, you can see we have only three links. Okay, and that is fine. If we have these three links, we can create with HTML, no problem. But think about like if we have thousands of links coming from some API, then you cannot create thousand times this link, right? We need something better solution to write this code. So HTML cannot do that along, right? So we will need a way of making our site more dynamic to display as many links as we need. So when it comes to adding a behavior to a site, we need, we have JavaScript. So in a programming, if you are repeating your code so many times, then you have to think a way through which you can simplify and shorten your code. As a programmer, we always need to think about the dry approach that is don't repeat yourself, right? So React is at code JavaScript plus some feature to help us build the app. And since we are working with JavaScript, what is the JavaScript feature that allows you to reuse the code? So in JavaScript, if you want to reuse something, like we want to write only once, then we want to reuse it multiple times. What exactly we use? We use functions for that, right? In a similar way, now instead of creating this one again and again, what we can do? We can create one function, maybe for a link or maybe for this content. And that function, we can call multiple times. So for an example, like I want to create this link, so I can keep this code into a function, maybe a function as a link and then link function I can call n number of times wherever we need that. So in React, these functions are basically we call as a component. So it is the easiest way to remember like in JavaScript, whenever we want to implement some reusability, we use functions. Similarly, in React, we have components, we can wrap our code inside a component and then we can call our component multiple times wherever we want to reuse the same code. So that's, that's how we enable the reusability in our application. So now we understood the concept of component. Let's break it out with the help of component, how you can do that. So it's very straightforward. As of now, I will not create n number of component, but let's, let me show you how you can do that. As of now, I just want to keep these things in one component so that I don't need to write every time a new, new code to accommodate the new link. So what we can do, let me first create a component here. The way we have this app.js, similarly, you can create one more component here and giving it a name as a link.js. And I told you like it's also a function. So if you notice here in the app.js, it's the function. 
Similarly, you can create your link function. As of now, we are talking about functional component. There are different way even fun even components can get create, right? So like in JavaScript, if you want to have some reusability, we can also create classes. We can also create functions. In a similar way in React, we can also create component using functions only. That is called functional component. And we can also create component using classes. That is called class-based component. But now, as of now, we are only restricted with functional component and that is a recommended way. I will discuss more in detail in the upcoming session, but as of now, let's talk about functional component. So I have created one link component. Now to use this component outside this file, you have to export that. So that's why I'm saying export default link. Every component will have some logic or will have the HTML. So any HTML that you want to render to UI, you have to return your JSX with the help of return keyword. Now when you move to app.js, I want to return this complete div. So I can cut this from here and move to link.js and I can put my HTML here. So as of now, this link component will dedicately use to represent only this content. It will not do any other implementation. It will not have any other feature. It will just use to display the link. That's it. Now we have marked this component as export. Then where you want to use that? I want to use it in the app.js. And that's what I told you. You will create small, small chunks and then you combine them into one container component that will be your root component for, but for this application app is my root component so as of now i can get it from this or i can so as of now i can get it from this code and i want to use my link component here so if you want to use any component into any other file you just need to import that because you have marked this component as export it means you can import that into any another file so i can say import link from link so as i told you like link is also a function right it's a functional component but we know that we used to call function like this but here link is my custom HTML element you can say. So in that case, all the HTML tag we call like this. So you have to call your component like a HTML tag. This is the difference you need to remember. Now when you create any functional component, your component name should be in capitals, okay? Whenever you create any component. So instead of writing this link like this, you need to create it like this. This is a required naming convention for React component and we use a capitalized name to distinguish the component from your normal function. So you just need to remember that function which is written JSX are not same as normal JavaScript function. Okay, so whenever you have JSX written, so in that case it become your component. So to distinguish that from your normal JavaScript, you need to give it in capital and this way you can import that. So save the changes and let's see whether your app component is able to read the link component or not. So here you can see you are getting the result. Another point to remember like every React component must return either JSX or other React component. So if I talk about link, link component is returning a JSX. But if I talk about app component, it is returning me a another component. So this is another rule you need to remember like every component must return either JSX or any other React component. So since React components can return other React components, we can make this app component like this. And it's just a tree of component. As the application grow, your components will also grow. So now if you want to use this link component multiple times, you just need to use this component name like this. As many times as you want. So you can see that. I don't need to write this code again and again. I just need to reuse this link component wherever you want. In the app component, maybe further in any another file I want to use, I just need to import that and I can use that like this. So this is the example of component. And definitely throughout in the React session, we are going to use component. So it would become more and more clear by time. But as of now, you can just understand just to split your complete UI into different, different small, small chunks. We specifically design specific component for specific functionality. You just need to remember, don't merge multiple functionality into single component. Try to break your functionality into different, different component so that it can be easily testable, maintainable and readable.
as my leak component doesn't contain any other thing so it's very easy for me to plug it anywhere whenever I need these kind of links I understand as of now you will ask or you will think like every component is, ha is having the same data I might to have different kind of data for every component call so that is the concept of props that I'm going to cover in the next video but for today's session just make sure that you can create components in react wherever you want to implement or you want to break your code UI code into different different chunks so this way you can enable the reusability in code I will show you in the next video how you can make these components dynamic so that they can accommodate different data wherever you are calling it like if you are calling it four times so four different kind of links should be generated so this is all about today I hope you got an idea like what is component how to create that and in the upcoming sessions it will make more sense when we'll make it more dynamic so this is all for today I hope you liked it if you liked it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe my channel uh, till then take care and keep learning